and I showed her like this black dress and she's like, do you want to try white? And I was like, no, because I will look like a marshmallow or a fishball. Hi, I'm Diu. Hi, I'm Mon. And we said, I do, four, four years, years ago. ago. We got married on 31st of October, 2020. Which was like Halloween day itself. I actually approached my mom saying if it was okay for me to get married to Dew. And she said yes, so I got the preparations ready. I didn't really know that he was asking his mom or my mom about the proposal, but I kind of had like an inkling that a proposal was coming up. Initially, we wanted to have an engagement party, but then COVID happened. My parents, who live in Thailand, weren't able to fly to Singapore because of COVID restrictions. So my mom was like, it's okay. Like, it's sad that they can't be there, but um, they don't want to hold us back. It seemed to like be no end in sight for COVID. So we were like, you know what? Okay, let's just go through with it. And then since we're both Halloween lovers, we were like, yeah, why not? Let's just do it like on Halloween, like that particular year. What was the first thing that you guys decided on for the wedding itself? The location. I've always wanted to have a wedding by the seaside and we scout around around the island to find the perfect place to hold a wedding. Coincidentally, there was this Thai restaurant by the beach and because I'm Thai, I was like, yes, you know? <laughs> so I was like updating my mom like, on the phone telling her about this and she's like, go talk to the chef, ask him which village he's from and I'm like, why? In case we're related, like I have no <laughs> idea. So it was just a happy coincidence as well. Everything was so effortless and seamless and just fell into place. And what would you say the theme of the wedding is? It got spooky, we love the creepy decor. Uh, we love the heavy metal slash uh, classic rock playlist that we curated. Had, yeah, we curated. Yeah. Even the attendees, uh, some of them came in like gothic vibe dresses and uh, attire. So my band members we, were yeah. wearing like leather jackets, and I'm yeah. like in Singapore by the beach. Okay. My mom initially was like, "Are you sure?" <laughs> I told her like, "I'm sure everyone who attends our wedding, you know, they are there because they're happy to see us finally get married and be with each other." So, and I think because they know us so well, yeah. they're like, oh, I'm not surprised. You know? <laughs> like, I think as all moms are, they would be a bit like, mm, you sure? Yeah. You know, like even for me, like when I was um, at the boutique trying on the dresses and I showed her like this black dress and she's like, black, really? And I'm like, what other color do you expect me to wear? And she was like, do you want to try white? And I was like, no. At the end of the day, um, we are glad that they accept us for who we are. And I think they both kind of like had a laugh at like, oh, we found like each other. You know? <laughs> We're so aligned in what we want in our wedding, our mm -hmm. marriage, and just in life in general. What was maybe one non-negotiable that you had for your wedding? I want to wear black. I don't want to wear white or pink. I guess my only one and non-negotiable is be with me forever. Oh. <laughs> no backstage, no refunds. Yeah, no refunds. No. <laughs> we had our solemnization in my mom's house. It was still kind of a Malay tradition. We have to bring the Tokadi, the guy who officiates the wedding, and say the vows in English and Malay. Our outfits were more towards like the Malay kind of culture yeah. as well to you know celebrate his culture. So for the solemnization, it was on Halloween day itself. Mm -hmm. After we had the makeup done and a few photos done, the groom would be outside waiting. Mm -hmm. And then I would make the long walk from the bedroom <laughs> out to the living room. And my sister, uh, who was my maid of honor, my younger sister, she had her phone out for like a WhatsApp, like a video call yeah. with my parents who are in Thailand and watching. The solemnizer, he has to address my dad as well. We went through the usual, the whole ceremony, the exchanging of vows. After he gave me uh, the wedding ring and you know we exchanged the wedding rings, he actually gave a promise ring to my daughter to say like, he promises to be her stepfather for life and take care of her. So I think that was really sweet. I think it was very important for us to have her part of the ceremony and 
understand that she is loved as well. I wanted to let my stepdaughter know that you know uh, I'm gonna be a new uh, dad. You know, and no promise I'm gonna take care of her. You know, she just like on my own flesh and blood. I still can forget the look on her face. You know, when she got the ring. I could see she was genuinely mm. happy and yeah. touched because we do make a very big effort to include her in everything. So for the reception, I remember we reached quite early mm -hmm. and then we had the the walk, the bride and groom like, you know, entrance. We walked in um, from the from the private room. We went to our table where the bride and groom are supposed to sit and finally eat. So post-wedding reception, we all gathered the bridesmaid, the groomsmen, and all of us take a photo and then throwing petals as we walk off into the sunset. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, we were heading our way to go to a cruise, right? Yeah. A cruise, yeah. We were going for a cruise because we couldn't fly anywhere due to COVID. That particular month, the cruise ships actually just started, started yeah. opening up. So literally from the wedding venue, like, you know, after we ate, took pictures and everything, we're like, okay, bye, you know? <laughs> we like rushed off. So that was quite exciting. I think it was interesting for both of us because it was our first time ever. Yeah. Going on like, a cruise. On a cruise, yeah. <laughs> Even though, you know, we couldn't fly overseas anywhere, I still think it was a memorable honeymoon. Because it was like the end of the wedding reception and to see my friends uh, and, and some of my family members gathered there, it was very heartwarming to see that all of them played a uh, role in making our wedding successful. I, I cannot thank them enough for everything that they've done. Okay. Flashbacks. Ah, flashbacks. <laughs> so these are our ring boxes for the solemnization day itself. These are handmade actually by a close friend of ours. Totally customized because she did not actually have this uh, coffin like mold. <laughs> and she went out of her way to find it. And there was there's this imprint and she got the little skull beads. I think my mom first impression so was like, hmm. And she was like, <laughs> Yeah. So the skull. His stepdad walked by and he was like, yeah, because the rock. <laughs> she was like, oh yeah, yeah, that's right. And she was like, oh well, you know, as long as you're happy. <laughs> so next item. <laughs> La face mask. This ever so yeah. stylish mask. We had to wear masks mm -hmm. as a precaution, health measures, right? I was thinking it's so unflattering to have those masks like covering my face for the yeah. wedding video and the wedding photos yeah. And so yeah we got this, I am your husband <laughs> Darth Vader in ICU kind of like looking um, at least it was clear so you could still see our expressions a bouquet a wedding bouquet I actually handmade this we wanted black, but we realized that it would just blend into everything because everything was black anyway. So we opted for silver. We did not toss it. We didn't do that because I was like, no, I worked hard on this. I'm not throwing it. We have plans to actually display it somewhere in the house. We have to figure out where to display it. But until we figure that out, it's just going to be in a bag kept in storage safely. Mm -hmm. Okay. Da -da -da -da. So, solemnization outfit. Bearing in mind his heritage, we went for like a Malay kind of theme. We actually found this in the boutique. We went to like a nearby tailor to have it slightly altered and customized. I don't think my measurements are the same now, but <laughs> this is what I wore and I love it because it's black with the silver um, elements, which matches my bouquet. So we found this at another shop uh, to match my pattern which it did match in a way in a way yeah. yeah it doesn't have to be completely perfect because we individually are not completely perfect but we match each other <laughs> <laughs> i would consider myself a modern malay guy in a sense where i don't follow the cultural norms 100 percent. there are some parts here and there where you know where it's ingrained in my life wearing my culture's clothes you know. yeah i was i was more than happy like okay so let's see the photos 
So this is our proposal itself. Mm -hmm. The proposal was actually done live on stage. Mon used to be part of this band and he was um, on tour with the band and I was the band manager actually. <laughs> so one of the performances in Malaysia, they were announcing on stage like, oh, we have like a special announcement. And then they're like, oh yes, can we ask like you to come on stage? And I was like, for what? I went on stage and then um, he got down on one knee and he like proposed. I was like, what? It was actually really like special as well because there was a prof very professional photographer mm -hmm. like in the audience and he took like so many amazing pictures we do bond through our music music taste that we share as well so i guess it is very significant for the both of us back then i actually planned this in my band told them okay on this special day <laughs> after that set number of songs i'm gonna get on my knees i'm going to propose to to your band manager, <laughs> <laughs> my good friend. They said, okay, let's do this. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Ah, so <laughs> this is our solemnization day. This was my makeup with my outfit. I remember that I asked for like very dramatic eyelashes <laughs> and I remember them being very heavy. So I had very sexy, sleepy eyes, <laughs> but that was literally because I couldn't really lift up my eyes. You know that old guy meme who was having a heart attack when like, <gasps> <laughs> oh, there was there was me when I saw her. Mm, so this is the Darth Vader mask that yeah. we speak of. <laughs> this is the actual um, solemnization itself when he was signing the paperwork, mm -hmm. and that's me in the background with um, our daughter and his mom being there supporting us um, by our side as well. Okay, these were the the hantaran. Yeah, the gifts uh, the that gifts, the bride and groom uh, exchange to each other. We actually exchange um, Doc Martin boots because yep. we both love boots. And just an excuse to get new shoes, yeah. right? <laughs> just an excuse. Uh, ah, uh, this is the moment that Mon was speaking of the final photos before we ran off into the sunset mm. to the cruise. It was a very joyous, yeah. like merry moment as well. And as we're walking, we could see like everybody's like lovely smiling faces. So I think that was really sweet. Just soaking in that love. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, let's watch the wedding video. How has it been like going down memory lane today? Makes me want to love her even more. <laughs> I don't think there's a cap to how much I, know, I can pour up my, 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 my <laughs> cup of love to this <laughs> so. <laughs> um, the one thing that I realized through the years of marriage is that, yes, he is like this buff metal head, right? But deep down inside, he's like a comic <laughs> geek. Who came up with the idea of making the soundtrack like metal? <laughs> oh, both of us. <laughs> I think, and also mm. a videographer, because mm -hmm. he's from the metal scene. I mean, he knows our style and he himself composes like metal songs. He did ask us like, you want me to go with that? And we're like, yes, please, like make it like, just make it metal all the mm. way. So he's the one who designed like that logo of our yep. names, like looking like a very black metal kind of band. <laughs> I think that was really cool. Is there anything specific you remember about the other person's speech? I think it was the promise to be the best husband and like the best spouse for each other and to be there to take and thin, yeah. For me, like, I think the most mm. memorable thing that I took away from his wedding speech was, yeah, his mm. vow to be not just a, a good husband to me, but a good father to our daughter and our future children. Like, I totally appreciated that. I don't know what the future holds, but I'm very sure it's going to be bright. And as long as I have a uh, deal with me by my side, you know, nothing can go wrong. Yeah. <laughs> you guys had each had to give one piece of advice for your daughter for her own wedding day, what would that be? As for wedding planning, I think be true to yourself. Don't go with the flow as to what other people um, say. At the end of the day, it's totally up to you because it's your wedding. You are the ones looking back at the pictures and it makes you smile. Mm -hmm. what, what she said. <laughs> <laughs> Find a nice bald guy who will take care of you. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much for watching. Comment down below what you want to see. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye! Bye!